Hi everyone, it's Jeanette from Jewelry by Jeanette, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and elegant pair of gemstone and crystal earrings. I'll be using the gemstone and crystal earrings kit that you can find in my Etsy shop and on my website. The details for the kit and for my website and Etsy shop will all be in the description below the video. So let's get started. I will be using, as I said, the gemstone and crystal kit that you can find in my shop. And in the kit, you will receive everything you see here that is needed to make these earrings. You can use whatever beads you like. Pretty much any beads will work for this project. In the kit, you will receive two larger Peruvian opals, two smaller Peruvian opals. These are already drilled for you. You will receive six small crystal beads, two French hooks, these are sterling silver, and three ball end head pins. You really only need two, but I include an extra because we all make mistakes. I make a lot of them myself. The tools that you will need to make these earrings are chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and cutters. All right, so to make these earrings, I'm going to take the head pin and I'm going to thread on the beads in the order that I would like them. Since I'm making a matching earring, it's pretty easy for me. And you don't have to follow the same pattern that I'm using. You can make these earrings in whatever pattern you like, even if you're using the kit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll just give you one tip that I learned from experience and from seeing other earrings and especially around Christmas time. So when you have two roundish beads and you put them close together like this, they can resemble a snowman. So that's why I have separated the gemstones with the crystals. So it might be something that you wanna pay attention to when you're designing your earrings. I'm going to take the larger Peruvian opal and thread it on the head pin. And these head pins have the ball end for decoration. Most head pins just have a flat head on the end. I'm going to take one of my crystals. Sorry for the noise out there. I live in New York City, so it gets a little noisy here sometimes. Then I'm taking the smaller Peruvian opal and I am threading that onto the head pin. And then the last crystal. So it looks like this. And now we're going to make a wrapped loop so that we can attach this to the hook. Now, you don't need any jump rings for these earrings. You could add jump rings if you like for a little extra swing, but you don't really need them. I'm taking my chain nose pliers and I'm gonna bring this up close to the camera. I'm leaving a very small space between my pliers and my bead. And the reason for that is twofold. 
One, I need to leave a little bit of space for my wrap. And the other reason is if you put your pliers right on top of that crystal, you will probably crack it. And you don't need to ask me how I know that. So I'm going to move that up just a little bit. And then I'm going to gently bend the head pin. I like to bend away from me. And I like to have a right angle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's almost a right angle there. Now I'm going to put these pliers down and I'm going to pick up my round nose pliers. And I'm going to put those pliers right as close to the bend that I've made as possible. And then you'll notice that I'm keeping, uh, I'm, I'm actually placing my pliers not too far in because I want a small loop. Now I like to make the pliers do the work for me. So I will push the head pin wire around the top jaw of the round nose pliers until it can't go anymore. And now you can just rotate so that the pliers are straight up and down. I prefer to just take them out because it hurts my wrist when I rotate it too much. Either way is okay. And I'm going to take the head pin wire and I'm going to press it nice and tightly until this head pin is pointing away from me, straight away. Then I will remove the round nose pliers. Actually, no, you know what? I'll just leave them in there and I'll just change hands. It's easier for me that way. Then I take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to wrap this wire around the head pin until the wire meets the first bead on top. I'm gonna to take that out and I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close. Don't worry if it's a little crooked, if it's a little bent. We're gonna fix that up later on. Now I'm gonna come in with my cutter and I'm going to trim off the excess wire here. And I need to bring that closer to me so that I can actually see where I'm cutting. You wanna be really careful, cover the tail with your finger so it doesn't go flying into your eyes. And then we're going to straighten things out a little bit. Sorry about Henry barking. So the last thing that we want to do before we attach this is we want to press in any little burr or tail that's sticking out. We don't want any of this wire to scratch us. And you want to be really careful when you're tucking it in because it, the bead is very delicate. The crystal bead is delicate there. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't want to take any chances. So now to attach this piece to the hook, let me move that into camera. We're going to attach this piece to the hook. We're going to take our chain nose pliers again, and we are going to find where the split is in that little ring at the bottom of the hook. And we're going to gently twist. I like to twist away from me so that we open this just a little bit. And notice that I'm saying gently for everything because 
if you are too rough with this wire, you'll distort it. That's why we also don't want to put our pliers in here. I've seen people do this and just open it and spread the loop open. That really distorts it. You want to just use gentle twisting motions. Now we'll take the loop that we created and we're just going to thread it right onto the hook. That's if I can see. And then we'll just close this up again, very gently. I'm just twisting that loop on the hook until it's closed. You wanna make sure that that's closed all the way so that nothing falls off. And there we have it. There is the second earring that matches the first. And keep in mind that these beads are not going to be exact matches. These are natural gemstones. They are Peruvian opals, and they are just gorgeous. No two are alike. And that's what adds to the beauty of these. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for joining me. If you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. As I said before, all of the details for this kit, including the sizes of the beads and the head pins, will be in the description below the video, along with links to my Etsy shop and my website. So this is Jeanette from Jewelry by Jeanette reminding you that you don't have to spend a fortune to look like a million. Have a great day.